Hello, welcome to Studios Projects. Today we're going to talk about this audio bug that I bought off of AliExpress and if it's even legal for me to own. If not, I'm going to destroy it. In this video, we're going to create the actual bug. We're going to see if it actually makes noise or if it's just garbage. Then, if it does make noise, we're going to see how far away you can go while talking normally while it still hears you. We're also going to see how far you can go with just whispering. And also, I'm then just going to say my final thoughts and also cool things that I plan to do in the future. Alright, so like with all good projects, the first thing you got to do is you got to use the manual. Now this is written in Chinese, which I don't understand, but I do understand the markings that they gave me. And I also understand how to read this type of stuff. Granted, it fits pretty darn well on here and most things, well, are really hard to put backwards on here. So, we're gonna get soldering and then we're gonna test it. I also will just quickly say that a bunch of these parts just straight up didn't come with the package so I had to source them from my workshop and you can tell because these are actually quality capacitors, not just cheap random ones, so. So now you're probably wondering why I didn't clip off the two prongs that were left from the mic. Well, that's something I'll show you at the very end. With this done, all we need to do is put in the battery and see if we get some sort of output. Alright, I just put the battery in finally. Nothing has exploded yet, so we're still good. Alright, I just spent the last hour trying to figure out why this just wouldn't work. And apparently, both capacitors that they sent me were bad. Two of the two of the resistors were both one uh, mega ohm resistors instead of one mega ohm and one 10k ohm, which took a lot to figure out because the fact was, well, they originally were two different types, and overall it just sounds like garbage. And this is the third capacitor that I've had to try in here because apparently we have a bunch of dead capacitors. But I finally got it to work, so we can continue with the video. This took way longer than I'd like to admit. I just found out while I'm trying to test this on the camera that it doesn't work on the camera. It needs to go into something that can actually take a line in, like a PC. So I'm going to record the audio on that and then play a clip of it. Okay, so we're testing this from a little bit away. I have the microphone directly pointed at me. So I finally finished soldering the board and somehow it took almost two hours in total to solder on less components than I have fingers. I don't know how, and it just is garbage. What we also found out is that you have to use a analog line-in port on the computer so that this works. If not, it literally does not work. So, that's great. So we finally have this done, and we did the audio test. So, the distance test talking. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to do that, but we're gonna try. So, what pretty much I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up about over there-ish, and what I'm going to do is plug the microphone over there, and I'm going to walk back and record the audio, and we're going to see how it sounds. Now, I am going to use the audio from my phone as secondary audio, just so you guys can still hear what actually it sounds like. I was able to find a secondary cord, so we will have some camera microphone. The microphone's right there, just sitting, it's pointed at me, and I'm just going to start, I'm just going to actually keep talking, and we're going to see how it sounds at the end. I'm talking fairly loudly, just so it's going to echo in the room. Now I'm walking to the camera, which is about maybe 10, 15 feet away, and now I'm going to walk back to the microphone, and we're going to see how it sounds. Do I think it's going to sound good? Not in the slightest. Um, I will admit, it actually, like, you can actually hear what I'm saying in the test, which is genuinely surprising based on the fact that before it sounded like I was starting a car. So, I'm actually going to try the whisper test. I'm genuinely surprised to see if it's going to work at the same distance, so let's get to that. Alright, we're going to start the whisper test. I'm going to start whispering, walk all the way to the camera, and walk back, and we're going to see how that sounds.
So as we can see from both tests, for some reason, it just decides to work when it wants to. It was actually able to hear the whispering. Now it could just be because I'm in a room and I wasn't whispering silently. I was, you could still hear me. So I'm genuinely surprised at how horrible it was when I was using the capacitors and stuff that they sent me compared to the stuff that I'm using from my own workshop. So now we're at the final thoughts. And I pretty much can say, yeah, don't buy this. If you see these kits on AliExpress, don't buy them. It's gonna sound like garbage and you're gonna need an analog system to use them. Now if you go and say, well, it should be digital, it should work on digital, okay, you go and build it and you try to test it. Cause I tried for about 30 to 45 minutes, got nothing, changed the cord, changed the port, and I finally got it to work. So this whole thing, it, which was my clickbait, how legal is this? Personally, I don't think it's legal in the slightest. They didn't send me half the parts and half the parts that they did send me just didn't work or just were the wrong stuff. They sent me wrong stuff. So I don't feel like this is legal, not in the way where I'm committing a crime, in the way where they're committing a crime. So I mean, you might say it's an AliExpress thing that you bought. It's probably gonna be garbage, but how hard is it to mess up a circuit? Apparently they managed how. I, just, I still cannot believe how bad it is. There's not even an IC that you have to solder. It's basic BJTs and, well, actually I don't know exactly what they are. I don't wanna run my mouth before I keep going. But honestly, it's a fun thing to solder together. It took away maybe 10 minutes of time if the components were right. But overall, uh, don't buy it. Don't buy it. You can't use it as an audio bug. It's just gonna sound like you're just in a room that has a bunch of paper bags and tinfoil in it. So don't buy it. <laughs> That's the best thing I could say. And honestly, it's illegal on their part, not legal, or perfectly legal on my part. The fact that I had to actually use nearly every single, like every single capacitor, I had to replace every single resistor I had to replace, and even the switch I had to replace because apparently the switch was on even if you turned it off. So that's great. So, uh, one second. So now for the last thing. All this garbage audio and barely functionality could be because of the mic. The mic, which as you can see, I left the two legs exposed, focus, those two legs exposed, well, I recently came across a broken Panasonic camera, which had a microphone, an old analog microphone on it, which technically all microphones are analog, but you get what I mean. It had parts that I could actually harvest. And what I plan to do is desolder this microphone, put into DuPont uh, female pins, and actually test to see what microphones I can get to like actually solder into here, and what microphones, uh, if I can, will actually work on here. Because the quality might just be bad because of this microphone. I would not be surprised in the slightest, but if that's true, if I go and I take a camera quality microphone, a legit TV camera quality microphone, and put it on here, will it sound better, or will it still sound garbage because, well, because, I don't know, I just am unlucky. So, we're gonna see that in a future video. I don't know when, could be next week, it really depends. So, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> this is my first video back at school, and I'll see you next Sunday, 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. as per usual. <laughs> I got here so early because I thought it was gonna be an easy shoot. I've never had such trouble soldering stuff, and I used to do surface mount soldering with a hand mount solder. So, <laughs> have a good day.